What's up everyone? It's your boy Andy Coach on a squat day. Working on 305 for three sets of eight. Steady working my way up, and that's what it takes. I started at 275, three sets of eight. Went to 285 the next cycle, 295 for two cycles because I had that competition I wanted to deload. And now I'm at 305 for a set of eight. And next cycle I'm gonna be at 315, and the next cycle I'm gonna be at 325, and so on and so forth. And that's just progress. And same thing with the 85% working at 345 and 355 and this Monday I'm going to be doing 365 for three sets of three maybe four sets of four I don't know working on keeping those knees pushed out keep the feet flat you see I let the knees come forward a little bit more now than I used to and that's okay it's keeping me a little bit more upright my quads are getting stronger my hips are strong still my back is real strong got some footage of some special stuff you'll see coming up in the next uh, video after the next one something like that I let the you're gonna see I let the uh, the pad kind of rest on my neck now I drive my neck up into it but that doesn't mean I relax my upper back I kinda shrug my shoulders into it as you can see here a little bit and then I shove my neck into the bar and kinda lead with like the very crown of my head coming out of the hole and that is keeping my back nice and tight and when my elbows touch my thighs I come back up and that's usually below parallel I squeeze the shit out of the handles it's really hard to do it otherwise and then uh, working on these front squats you can see I'm trying to get into a good rack position but it all feels like fucking garbage so none of it really feels good feet are a little more narrow and what happens is I let my feet kind of go more flat instead of being uh, pushed out on the outsides of my feet a little more you can see how far my right knee goes instead of my left knee uh, which is why I don't like doing a ton of these but I do need to build my quads up a little bit for uh, overhead pressing and other stuff and this is a way of doing it uh, sled drags and stuff like that help too but this is also really good for log pressing because it puts a tremendous amount of stress on your uh, spinal erectors too. So my fingers end up sliding off the bar. I end up only having two fingers on the bar by the end of it. I'm working on keeping at least three on there. And one huge thing here is you'll see my elbows kind of point downwards when I come out of the hole right there. If this is synced up right. And what you're trying to avoid is just that because that tells me that you're being lax with your back, lax with your hips, and that you're not pushing up hard enough with that upper back. And essentially pushing your hips back and then driving up somewhat like a good morning, um, which is not really the right way to do a front squat because then it starts rolling forward on your shoulders. Keep the chin up pretty high, a lot higher than you would on a back squat, and that's gonna help you maintain a, a, a taller torso. Not so much muscularly, because of whatever reason the neck is not straining that hard, but it's more so just in your mind. You stay looking up and your body stays up. Uh, I don't recommend looking straight up or anything like that. I think that's kind of a silly cue. But, you know, to be able to get down, drop the hips right underneath the spine, not sticking your butt out. Uh, stack your hips right under your spine and squat straight down, letting the knees come forward, keeping the feet flat. It's it's a daunting task, you know, but it's one that we all need to learn. I love these barbell back extensions lately. They fry my lower back. Uh, I did not notice that I wasn't coming all the way down though. That's something I, I found out when I watched this video. You can see I'm flexing my butt, my hamstrings, and my lower back. And that just all works naturally. I pull the bar down onto my shoulders like I'm doing a lat pull down behind the neck. And I start with these Bulgarian split squats, maintaining that upright torso. And depending on what you're trying to hit, like my right side, I try and sit back a little bit more and try and hinge at the hips a little bit more. But one huge thing is that you don't want to be turning the hips left or right. And that's called opening or closing the hips. You want to make sure your hips are squared away so as if you were standing with your feet straight forward is exactly how your hips should be while you do this work. Uh, you don't want to be pivoting, if you will, on the hip joint and on the on that ball and socket joint because it, it'll uh, eventually lead to some imbalances and that's kind of what we're trying to correct with a movement like this. It's a really good warm-up even if you don't use any weight 
because of so much stabilizing and if you don't have kettlebells to rack like this you can always use dumbbells or just one dumbbell and hold it in the goblet position or if you want to hold the dumbbells down by your side that's fine or a barbell whatever you want to do with it uh, they really suck and that's why they work and this finisher my homegirl and I Tammy seven minutes we did sled push and kettlebell snatches you see my boy Josh in the back Josh is working real hard gotta give him a uh, big shout out to him he hasn't missed a day yet I see him Monday on a special uh, request for coaching which I'm pretty happy about and coaching coaching guys like him it really gets to my heart I really love it I see him working hard and it makes me want to work even harder and uh, I respect I respect him a lot so with this workout that Tammy and I were doing though really sucked we were just doing some snatches not really any sort of uh, reps or sets or anything like that just working on some I started out with sprinting on the on the sled push and that did not last very long ended up just walking with it trying to move kinda quickly but my legs were fried and they still they hurt for like shit I don't even know all week I don't even know what day this was but my legs were fried that's a little bit too much volume but anyway make sure you like subscribe and share I appreciate you watching